The Party's Just Beginning is the feature length directorial debut of Guardians of the Galaxy actress Karen Gillan. Stars Karen Gillan, Lee Pace, Matthew Beard, Paul Higgins, and a bunch of other people. And the plot of The Party's Just Beginning is Lucid is a young, foul mouthed 24 year old woman living in Inverness, Scotland. And she lives with her parents in her house with them. And she has a best friend who she cared for dearly as well as a love for ones. So one day the death and loss of her friend which happens from suicide causes her to be depressed and end up at a crossroads like situation. If she turns to alcohol, chips, not to mention joyous sex and also missing five days of work at her job and she also struggles to deal with talking to people about her situation due to her crisis of losing a best friend therefore causing her to have the syndrome of survivor's guilt and as a result she blames Alistair for killing himself so she's trying to deal with the loss of her friend while also at the same time trying to keep herself in order and keep herself closer to the people she loves while dealing with her best friend's suicide and trying not to end up in the same situation as her late friend. This movie was great. Going into the party just beginning I was pretty curious about a directorial debut of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Star, and this is not the only directorial debut that you will be seeing in my best movies of the year because Bradley Cooper's directorial debut was also really good. But if you ask me which one I prefer, while I do enjoy A Star is Born, I have to say I like this. It's great seeing Nebula herself directing a com comedy drama. And the thing I like about it is that she just decided to go more into her personal roots with this one. More her hometown roots. And you can relate to being that person who has lost your best friend from death. And you can you relate to that very easily. You relate to that. Because if, if any of you guys has been in that situation, you easily would know that losing a friend that's close to you or a family member that's close to you is not always that easy. And the reason why I picked Lucid and put Lucid in one of in my hottest female characters of 2018, not only because she is gorgeous in the movie is because also I get what her character goes through I feel like her character she's going through physical emotions and is and you could tell from every single frame of the movie the way Karen Gillan edits the it has editors edit, edit the film from the way this film is shot from his visual style and from the color scheme and the visual color scheming you can tell that Karen Gillan she did a lot of good a lot a heck of a good job here and Lucid I thought she was very funny but I like I said she's also very gorgeous and she's also dealing with a personal events and she comes across another character played by Lee Pace named Dale who try who she tries to to hook up with but he basically has to leave town even though she's they spend time together now the rest of the chaos is really good here I really like the love the flashbacks between Alistair and Lucid and I thought those flashbacks they were really touching I thought they were very emotional and I thought they were really well handled and it's a very well handed film and I like the 
music here. The music is pretty pretty cool. I do like the music, so I'm not gonna have too much problem with that. And the rest of the cast is really great. This is R rated and it does stick to R rating, which she basically There you do get the cursing, you basically get basically lucid in in romantic activities with different people. And basically that's just usual for your basically movie like this. And acting and the rest the acting by Karen Gillan in this movie. Woo! <laughs> This is probably Karen Gillan at her best, besides Nebula and besides Ruby Roundhouse. But overall, ultimately, I do think that there is entertaining value in here. I think there is some very good ideas here. And it took six years for her to go in to write this movie and to get financed, but it's a process. So, I would definitely not have a problem if Gillen or Bradley Cooper directed an MCU film. Since they're both in the MCU, I wouldn't have a problem with it. The only kind of complaint I have is that sometimes the music is a little loud and it kind of distracts from the the, the, di the dialogue the dialogue in at least one or two scenes but overall I still love the party just beginning I'm glad I saw this and I had a lot of fun with it I'm going to give this movie Better Than Vampire Academy with my JD Rainbow Sil Silk approval. Let me know what you guys think of the parties just beginning down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Future Filmmaker 3940 signing out. Be sure to follow all my social media links. You guys keep it cool. Let's continue the road to 1K subscribers. And. Join the epitaskiness. Bye.